everyone from this is Franco and this is uh, another vet and uh, this video is going to be more about <clears throat> it's the same thing answering some of the questions that I get um, and uh, this is the best way I guess to you know for people who are interested or maybe one day getting one of these cars or having one built in the future and um, you know for you guys to understand a little more what these things are about and see some of you guys. Now this car in particular is going to be going to Miami and this car it's going to be white just like the other ones that I already built. Uh, this one's going to be pro white. Um, this is in 2003 a 986 Boxster S um, the Dover car and obviously we're turning into a VEX and uh, the difference in this Y1 compared to the other Y1s I've done is that this part right here is usually they're painted black and in this particular car we're going to do it all white so i think it's actually going to look better we'll see the top is still going to be black and the back part is going to be black but anyways so one of the things that I, so obviously i'm doing these videos for people who are interested in maybe getting one of these cars have a little more understanding on how they are and whatnot and uh, it's easier than to have to read a website you know and be reading all the stuff and stuff. this is easy just we'll look at a video and it answers a lot of questions that i'll be forgetting obviously when i make videos like this it's mainly i try to gather most of the questions that i get and and there are more that are popular that i can keep getting them over and over and then i try to make a little video to answer them and for guys that are looking for more content on the vets well there you go you know this is the day I believe it's July 6th, 2021, and this car obviously is still being prepped. It's getting close to being to start prepping it for paint. Um, so one of the number one things that I've been getting a lot is where's the engine when people want to see the engine. So in, in the bags, like in the boxers, because this is actually a boxer, the engine is right here. So being a boxer, this car is for guys that know it's obvious but the guys that don't know are not familiar with the porch box they don't have a hood so practically if you open that it's a trunk if you open this it's another compartment which i use it to put the top and in this trunk it's another in this hood there's another trunk so where's the engine well <clears throat> the engine in this car is you need to move these clips which i already undid them there's like a turn you turn them and you lift this cover up and there's where the engine is. So let me take this out of here. And we'll kind of see it better. And for those who keep asking about where's the engine on the bags, well, that's where the engine sits. Now, in the bags, that cover obviously is on. That's like the hood. And this is a Porsche thing, not a Vex thing. Okay? It's a metal plate that has hooks. You just twist them and you pop it off, and there's your engine. There's another cover right here. There is more access to the front pulleys and whatnot for the engine and then most of the other access from the bottom of the car uh, obviously when the car is finished there's a carpet that goes on top of this it's like a carpet beat thick mat carpet mat that goes on top of it. it's a porsche thing and um, the difference is when it's turned into a vex is that all you got to do is literally open this cover right here once you open that cover and you just pull the carpet out then it's your cover for your engine you have access to your engine when the regular boxers you have the foldable top i should have a boxer right here for you I'll, maybe i'll do it in the future with the next to a box when i paint this one i'm going to put it right next to an actual stock boxer and you'll be able to see the difference the porsche has that foldable top that usually falls on top of the engine and it falls back it's a cover that comes out out of the way and the top falls on top of the engine that's in a stock boxer so you have to unhook lift up the top a little bit or hook the back open the back cover lift the back part of the top up and then you can actually remove the carpet and finally access the engine and the backs and this is not something that i did on purpose it just so happened that it worked out this way where is actually more access or easy access to the engine because you just open the the bonnet that i created this deck lid i created and i created it to be able to put obviously to have access to the engine but also to be able to put the top back there 
and so it's easy. You just open the cover and there is your engine, pretty much. And that's one of the most popular questions I've been getting lately on the VEX, which is where is the engine? Because obviously it's hard, hardly ever you're gonna see a picture of a VEX and you're gonna be able to see the engine, you know, uh, because the way they designed it is more of a, you know, it's, it's like a removable cover. It's not a hood, let's put it that way. And this is something that, what the hell's wrong with my video? This is something that Porsche created. Uh, I can't adjust this curve. Anyways, that's where the engine is. So I don't want to make this video too long. The other one was way too long. So the next thing is the spacers. <laughs> a lot of people ask me if the cars have spacers. Well, they don't. So the cars, if you can see, is bolted. The wheels bolted straight to the hub. So this is the hub, the original Porsche hub and there's the wheel bolted straight to the hub. There is no spacers. I don't use spacers. The wheels are massive on a big, big lip. And, um, and the wheels are custom built. They're built in aluminum wheels. Custom built for, let me see if I can lighten this up. I don't know why it's so dark. Okay, that works a little bit. So the wheels are custom built. They're two piece built in aluminum. And uh, they're custom built with the offset that I need for the bag. So it works, God, that's too bright. Ah, anyway. So that's how the wheels, um, they're both straight to the hub. There's actually no adapters and none of that on the wheels. The wheels are custom built for the car. Uh, so we don't need to use adapters, okay? And that's one thing that they, people ask. Um, I don't use three pieces because the three piece rims, even though they can might be able to make them a look, a little, look a little bit nicer, they tend to have issues from a lot of people that I hear that, that they'll start leaking. And I'm not saying it's gonna happen every day, but eventually they'll leak. You have to have them disassemble and reassemble so they can reseal them. And that's why I prefer to use the two piece. They're built in the same way than the three pieces. Only difference is they be bolted the weld. Anyways, that is the, uh, the spacers. Um, another thing, I mean, weird enough, the people ask me, it's about the little lips. At the bottom, usually they're painted black and they'll have an accent line painted in front whatever color the customer wants. A lot of people are asking me, hey, if I scrape those on the floor, are they going to break? <laughs> well, to answer that, it's not a good idea to scrape any part of the body of a car onto the floor, okay? But if you were to scrape this, this is not just a little two inch lip, four inch lip or whatever, it's not that. Actually, the lip, this is not a lip, it's, it's a big, big piece that goes, let me see if I can catch it. You can see in here where the radiator is in there, that's still part of the actual lip. So the piece, let me see if I can catch you on the bottom. It's a big, big piece actually that goes, I don't know if you can kind of make it out. It's a big piece that goes all the way to the radiator. So you see, that's the, that would be the front, right? And that's, you see, they go all the way to the back. It's a big plate, it's a fiberglass piece. But it's not what I'm trying to answer to a lot of those questions that I get. It's not a little one inch little lip that is just bolted under the car and if you tap it, you're gonna break it. I mean, it's a whole piece that goes all the way past the radiators and it completely seals the whole bottom of the car. And so, can you break it? Yes. But you really gotta hit it really hard and lay the whole weight of the car on top of it to actually destroy that. I mean. But at the end of the day, we all know. I mean, it's a fiberglass body, a fiberglass lid, a fiberglass bumper. If you hit it on the floor, you're gonna break it, okay? I'm just answering, like I said, if this dumb or now, I don't know. This is, I'm answering questions that I, you know, that I get a lot um, in terms of the VEX and the one to see it more in the raw, so now you can see a car that's in the making, it's not all pretty, it's not all post. Another part, and I'm rushing through it because I don't wanna make this video so long, is the stretching. I'm gonna show you this car. It's still obviously, you can see, still rough, still being built. And this is the part where the car was stretched, right here. So practically, you can see where the original carpet ends, is this part of the carpet used to be against here. There's another carpet that goes there, comes with the car. And this is the part that we actually stretched the car. So you can see right there, all, all this is the stretching part. Okay, you get some completely sealed sheet metal, 
and whatnot. But yes, that's where the car would stretch. So the car is stretched from here to there, 12 inches. Okay, so the seat, the seat will stay here, will remain here, and there will be like 12 inches behind it. Boombox, gym bag, whatever you want. Then it's going to be the roll bar here. So there's the original Porsche roll bar, and then the space for the top on top of the engine. So the top goes on top of the engine and it sits all the way to the front and passes out of here a little bit more so anyways so the car would stretch right here and on the inside you can see the stretching part and um, so anyways that's something that a lot of people want to know and uh and this like i said this video so are mainly for guys who are interested and in maybe they want to do research about the car they're interested in ordering the car well, what better than to watch a video and learn more about it and what is the good, the bad, the ugly and whatnot, right? I don't know what the hell is wrong with my video. Sorry for that. Anyways, so that is the stretching. And uh, we cover the spacer, we cover the front. There we go. And the last thing is, well, the radiators, which I already explained in the other video. If you see a video when the car is the charcoal one with the green line, you know all about the radiators and, and the side scoops, all that, which... I explained it on the other thing, I'm sorry, I was going to explain about that, but I already did that in the other video. The intake right here, that the actual, here's the intake from that grill area, and we know that, and also on the back, because this one doesn't have the grills on, you can see better now how, you know, let me see if I can zoom into this crap, and right there is where all the engine is, under there, right, so the transmission is right under the trunk. The engine is in front, transmission, and then the exhaust and whatnot, which this one doesn't have it on yet. And that's where all the heat gets out of the car in the back. And anyways, so hope this helps uh, for those thinking about maybe doing, yes, that's the engine. Uh, for those thinking about still, you know, maybe in the future getting one of these cars. And, and I just want to put materials out, material out there that helps answer most the most frequent questions uh, that I get, and then that way it's easier than for you to have to read it online and whatnot. Anyways, guys, I hope you liked it. The explanation is a little bit more raw. Next, next video will be maybe painting this car or this car painted, which should be getting painted by this weekend. And then within two to three weeks after that, we should have it all completely done. I'm gonna put it outside. And it's gonna be white with the blue line at the bottom all white notes, no black in the hood, and uh, all black interior, so with white stitching and whatnot, it's going to be real cool. Anyway guys, thank you for watching, I appreciate all the love, I really, really do. Uh, you guys know I'm not doing this, I don't do these videos to profit from them or none of that, just want to explain for whoever may care about the car, they have questions, and um, and that's why I do it. The commercials that come up on my videos is not me profiting from them. I don't put those commercials on there. I don't know, you know why they do that, but whatever. Um, I'm just doing it for information only. And, uh, and like I promise, I'm going to try to put more and more videos. Okay, guys? And there you go. That's the one a lot of people want to see. Uh, next, next. Hopefully soon we'll pull it out. Start it up. And I'm going to do the same thing. Walk around before I actually paint it. Make it pretty. That's the vengeance. That's the vex. That's the vendetta. All right, guys. You guys have a good one, okay? Thanks for watching, man.